welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna and here is where I share a whole bunch of my crafty adventures, knitting, cross stitch, crochet, um, quilting, or anything that I'm working on rather. Um, today is November 9th and I think this is my 40th YouTube video. Let me see. Oh my god, that would be really exciting. I think it might be. <clears throat> oh no, we're on 39. That's okay. So my next one will be my 40th. And I guess this is my November update. If you're returning, welcome back. I hope everyone's been doing good and has had a great start to November so far. Um, I have just a few things to share and I actually have a time limit today because my camera is running out of space. <clears throat> so I want to update on... First, I'll start with a new start. So I have a new knitting start. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, I spent a, my day talking a lot <laughs> and I've been having parent-teacher conferences at work. I guess I could start with like a little life update, but not really much. Really busy at work, parent-teacher conference season, and that's about it. <sighs> I was trying to think of like what else, <clears throat> but yeah, other than that, I've just been super busy and it's currently like eight o'clock at night and I'm super tired, but I hope everyone else has been doing good. So I did want to share my new start. I am working on, no, I'm not working on that. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh my gosh, I should have drank some water before. I am stitching. I swear I had this ready. Okay, there it is. <laughs> the This Way and That Shawl. And this is by Jennifer Wiseman, I think. Yep. And I really wanted to try to do it in that fade that's there, but I couldn't really find any yarn that I liked right now. And I'm hoping to make this for a raffle. So I am using some of this um, Karen Blossom Cake in the colorway, let me see, Blossoms. So it's really pretty and it kind of fades on its own and it's really beautiful. It's really soft to work with. I think it is acrylic, but it's really nice. It doesn't feel too bad. I'm trying to check, but I can't find it on here. Oh, 39% acrylic and 61% cotton. So I guess that's why it's a little, it's a little squishy. So I have a tiny start on this. Sorry. Here it goes. Oh my gosh, my needles are just a little bit tangled on it. There it goes. Loving it, loving it, loving it. And these are some little stitch markers I made with my friend Candace when she visited. A few years ago now, it feels like forever I miss her. But yeah, it kind of does fade into itself really well. I guess it won't be a fade. It'll be more stripes, I guess. So we'll see. I haven't started any of the kind of fun design yet. I'm just still working on the top part. So this will be the part that like goes on your back, like back there. And it'll keep growing with every row, which is really nice. So that's my new start. Gosh, I'm going to make a mess. And maybe I should stay with the knitting for now. So, and then we'll go into cross stitching. So my other project that I'm working on, boy, I always forget the paper for this one, but it's the Rainbow Tank by uh, Francois Francis. I always say it wrong. Uh, Denvoy, if you, would like to know, um, just comment down below. I'm not going to pause this to find the picture because it is almost done. So it's a tank top <clears throat> that I'm making for my boyfriend's sister. So I, so there's my little marker of where I was when I came back to it. So I finished all of the hip shaping and now I did the little bottom uh, band. And now I'm doing the same for the arms. And then once the arms are done, it's going to connect like a neck piece up and around 
to the back part of it. I really should have grabbed the pattern. Sorry I'm not ready. But it's going good so far. I really, really like it. The stripes did not come out perfect or symmetrical, which I think is fine. The, um, right, I'm forgetting so much stuff. The body of this is in, um, hold on, I have it in my notes here. Oh no. I had it all, I had it all. I swear I was ready. Oh, it was um, Yarn Bee Yarn. It was a Sugar Wheel Cotton in the colorway Sunroom Sunday. I don't have it with me right now because I put it in my scrap bin because I thought I was going to use it to make a hat for my mom. And then the red that's going to be on the bottom and on this top part here <clears throat> is Yarn Bee again. And this is the colorway Must... Oh no. Well, it's their Must Be Merino. And it's in the colorway Burgundy. So I didn't pick out these colors, but I think they're working okay so far. It is a cotton, and then this is a merino. My worry is like that the cotton will stay stretched out, but I think it'll be okay. So that is almost done. I'm actually going to work on that a bit more because I'd like to have it done before Christmas so that I can gift it away. So that one's kind of on a timeline. And that's it for knitting. And for my cross stitching, I've been working on my fall cottage, which is from this book, Seasonal Cottages by Herkshner's, that has patterns by Alma Lynn Hayden in it. And since it's been fall season, I've been working on the fall cottage, which is right here. And I'm working this three over one on a piece of um, Ida that I hand dyed myself in 14 count. And here is where I am. <clears throat> so I kind of really finished off this panel down here and did, I think, all of, might have done all of the back stitching <clears throat> so that when I go back to work on it, I will be starting this next panel here, which I'm really excited about. The little apple came out really cute. Actually, I might still have a little bit more back stitching to do on the apple. But it's looking really good. So that's my fall cottage, which will get a few more rotations until we switch into winter season. So I'm really excited about that. And then I was working on my Christmas sampler. <clears throat> and this is by Joan Elliott, I believe. My Christmas Eve sampler, rather. And I think it is a Joan Elliott, am I right? Yep, Joan Elliott. And I am stitching this on, I have one of these little helpful cards in here, on a 32 count Lugana by Zweigart in the colorway Atlantis. And this was a new start at the New Jersey Stitch NJ retreat this year. So I'm really excited. I got up to that Christmas tree down there. And this is um, two over, I mean, two over two with just the black thread. And then I added in some sparkly up there on the reindeer. And then I look at how cute the little mouse is. I'm really excited for that. The little mouse in the Christmas tree. So I'm excited to keep on working on that. I did skip the numbers in the middle so far because I think I'm going to do um, the year that I finish it in the middle. And so I have to work on centering the year and I'm not really good at that. So I might, I might ask the help of my friends to help me. I am having a stitchy meetup uh, this coming Sunday with Caitlin from Kate Stitches and Deb from Stitch to Stash. Stitch the Stash. I can't talk anymore tonight, sorry. And so I'm super excited about that. I am bringing um, one of my knitting projects that I need some help on. And then I'm just going to stitch and I'm really excited to have to see friends and have stitchy time with them. So I'm really pumped for that. And let me see. 
Oh, this went by really fast. Did I show everything? That was four things already? All right, my last thing, and I'm sorry, I don't have the finished picture with me because it's on my tablet. And I don't have my tablet, so this will be a really quick and short update. This is my Happy Halloween by Doreen Jones. And I'm stitching on two over one color and cotton, 14 count buff. And I got a lot done. I really wanted to do the back stitching, but I kind of forgot. And then I got really into working on the pumpkins over here. They're so cute. So I got really into the pumpkins. I know I say it every video, I'm not big on Halloween, but I love this piece because there's soon gonna be a little black cat here that I'm really excited to start. So this is looking really good. And then I did have a question in my last video about what to do at the bottom because there was a an error in the chart and the designer never got back to me about what to do about it. And I think I'm just gonna put another row of black down there and it won't even be noticeable. <clears throat> so I'm really, really loving this so, so much. It's looking really great. But I will put it down for a little bit because I'm not really into Halloween stitching when it's not around Halloween time. Oh, I did want to talk about a birthday start, so I will actually pause and go and grab that for a second. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, sorry. <laughs> I know that was like seamless for you, but it was like a few seconds for me. So my birthday this month is on the 28th of November this month, as if it changes. Oh boy, this is a mess video. I'm so sorry if you stuck around this long and it's been chaotic. Um, but yeah, my birthday's coming at the end of the month and I'm excited for a new start. So a few things that I'm bouncing around in my head right now for a birthday start is this really cute pattern that I got at Stitch North. The little toonies. Is it toonies? I think it's toonies. I love loons. And this is so cute. It's got a little baby loon on it. And I really, really love this pattern. It is by Uncanny Carry D's 20 Stitches. So this is one of the things I'm thinking of starting. I'm not sure. I did bring it with me, I think, to Stitch NJ. And I was going to maybe start it, but I didn't get around to it. And then another piece I was thinking of starting is this cotton um, cottage garden samplings and have faith. I got my mom the Courage version of this one. Um, if you don't know, my mom's undergoing breast cancer treatment. I don't want to talk too much about it right now because I just, yeah, I don't want, I don't, I, anywho, I got her the Courage one to stitch when she first started her treatment and um, was kind of coming to terms with the diagnosis and I decided to get the Faith one. Well, she already finished hers, of course. It's been finished and she's tasked me with making it into a pillow for her so I'm still working on that but I want to stitch the have faith version so this is a contender for a new start and then I almost started this one this is birdsong pillow I just picked this up I think at the freebie table at um, stitch NJ actually or maybe stitch north and I had a fabric that I really liked from it from grace notes it was like this kind of bright sunny yellow um, and I was gonna do the bird in like this purple that I have from Color and Cotton. I just had it in my head and I was holding the fabric when I was in the line at um, Stitch NJ and then I just put it down and I was like oh it can wait and then later in the retreat yes I did pick this up actually at Stitch NJ because I'm remembering about it now later on in the retreat I was like oh man I really want to start this bird and I went to the room to get the fabric and it was gone. So I was really, really sad, but I wrote down the name of the fabric and the colorway and I'm hoping to order it if I do pick this, which I have to pick kind of soon because my birthday's not next week or the week after. I mean, it's like the last week of the month, but still like I should, I should order it if it's this one, but I can't decide. So these are my three that I'm trying to decide between. Maybe I'll bring it for my friends to help me at um, on Sunday. So it's either Birdsong Pillow, Have Faith, or the Little Toonies. I kind of love all of them. 
And funny thing about my mom and her stitching, so in my last video I showed a piece that I got um, with the Cardinals and the Merry Christmas and I brought it over to her house and she was like, I really like that. And so I left it there and she finished it in like less than a week. I should post her finish on my Instagram because she doesn't post um, her cross stitching on her own Instagram. <clears throat> And she doesn't want to make an Instagram page, but she bought Weeks Dye Works for like the first time ever because she kind of didn't understand at first like the whole variegation thing and what it would look like. And I talked her into it. But anywho, she bought it. She loved it. She loves the way it looks with the variegated thread. Um, and so I think I got her into those. But anywho, I'm running out of time. I hope everyone is doing really well and is enjoying their November. Um, holiday season is upon us if you celebrate the upcoming holidays. Um, I hope everyone is able to stitch and enjoy, especially if you are a cold and winter person like me and enjoying the decrease in temperature. I'm not liking the loss of light, but the decrease in temperature is fine. Um, I also have no book talk for this time around because I haven't really been able to read much. I've been so super busy, but anywho, I hope everyone's doing well. Happy stitching and I'll see you guys next time. Sorry for the crazy scatter update. I am so tired. Bye.